Hey VR friends, today I've got a new VR fitness game for you, which is great because between the big players like Supernatural and FitXR, which are subscription-based VR fitness apps, there really is a market for a solid VR workout app that you can get for a flat fee. And Les Mills Body Combat, the game that I will review today, might just fill that gap. It will come to the Oculus Store on February the 3rd, but I will tell you early on, this is not just an out of the beat saber hit the target however you can kind of a game, Les Mills is an actual martial arts inspired fitness program. Yeah. In addition to hitting the targets to the beat, which is pretty much the only objective in other workout apps such as Power Beats VR, which I reviewed early as well, Les Mills really emphasizes the technique with what they claim scientifically designed punch moves and knee strikes. You can think what you want about this scientifically designed punches, but my first impression from this app was that its main, if not the only focus, is your productivity. They don't really care about adding cute little nice to have things like custom songs, extensive playlists of all kinds of genres, or tons of environments, even though there are five environments that are pretty gorgeous. But still, Les Mills really feels like a serious workout app designed to make you work hard and sweat rather than just a fun rhythm-based game where the cardio element is more of an afterthought than the purpose. So that was just a little teaser and now let's dive deeper into Les Mills. If you enjoy videos like this, give it a like and subscribe to Disco VR for more fun VR content, of course. And if you're ready, let's go. We will go through some major characteristics of Les Mills, what it is, how it is different from other VR workout apps, and what I like about it and what I don't like about it. The first thing that made me go, finally, is the coaches that are actual, real people in VR fitness app that is not supernatural. I love the idea of having a personal coach, and I think that for a lot of people, it is the main reason why they pay for the subscription with Supernatural. When you do any workout, the coach's comments are actually tailored to that song and to that map. They make specific comments to the song, to the way they hit with the speed or slow down, and of course encourage you to work harder. One extra one! Even though I know that it's all pre-recorded, it does work for me to motivate me during my workouts. So far, only Supernatural had that level of detail and tailor comments. Now, despite this being high intensity, I want you to give yourself room. Because, for example, in FitXR, all coaches wear modeled renderings, and their comments during the workout seemed random and quite generic. Wow, those hands? That's me. Even though currently there are only two coaches in Les Mills, it's more than enough for me. I like the energy and during every workout you feel like the coach is talking to you and standing right there encouraging you. So I like this personal feel. However, they do talk a lot and cheer you a lot. So if you would prefer a more silent workout, you probably would have better luck trying FitXR with their generic comments or Power Beats VR that doesn't have any coaches at all. Again, I personally feel more motivated when there is a coach cheering me on and telling me how I'm doing. It doesn't distract or annoy me, but that's just my personal preference. Before you start a new type of a workout in this game, it shows you a quick tutorial where the coaches are showing you the correct way to hit every target. This is where they're really showing off the technique and quote-unquote the science behind Les Mills. They emphasize your stance and the way your shoulders should work even how your legs need to move when you're performing certain hits. I love this, mostly because when playing other games, I never really know whether there is a correct way to hit some targets. In most rhythm-based games, you just get targets flying at you and you hit them however you can. The fact that in Les Mills, the coaches explain to you how you should change your stance, how to perform different types of punches to maximize your results, makes it feel like you're actually doing some serious workout and not just 
just swinging your arms aimlessly. The only problem that I saw with these tutorials is that you cannot replay them. At least if you can, I haven't found a way to do that. And first tutorial I saw was quite lengthy and had a lot of information in it. And while I thought that I got it all, during the actual workout, I kind of wish that I saw the coach beside me doing the same exercises so that I could remind myself of the right stands and how my arms should move. Because there are just so many moves, I, I simply forget how I'm supposed to do them. And I'm not a pro when it comes to martial arts inspired fitness. I I really need some guidance. And I'm sure that many of you are visual learners as well. So being able to look at the coach and repeat after him or her would make me feel more confident in what I'm actually doing. And unfortunately, all the pre-recorded cheerings are not attached to your actual performance. So even if you miss half of the targets, the coach will still say something like, Yeah, very, very good. Well done. Yeah, right. So remember I said that you cannot replay the tutorials and that's true. I, I actually ran into a problem of some sorts because of that. Specifically, there was this one move that I've got to give it to them. It's pretty dang creative. According to this ridiculously short tutorial, you're supposed to hit the target with both arms, hold it mid-air following the path and then slam it over your knee. It looks really cool, but here's the problem. I couldn't get it to work. I tried to do exactly what the video said. I grabbed it, I held it, and then I'm slapped into the beat, but nothing happened. And I was the last on the leaderboard. You can literally see the frustration all over my face. It drove me crazy, especially because I couldn't even replay the tutorial to see what I was doing wrong. I am not a fitness pro, and these things don't come to me naturally. And I needed to ask for advice. And what's a better person to ask for VR workout related advice than a fitness expert like Ari from FitPro VR. He's got this amazing YouTube channel about all things related to fitness and virtual reality. So yeah, he would be a great person to ask this. So Ari, tell me, what did I do wrong here? Wait, really? It means discover? Oh, this whole time I thought she was just really into disco. Oh, I gotta go. Hey folks, Ari here with FitPro VR. You may recognize me from my fitness channel. Fit Pro VR, where I talk about VR fitness games and applications, as well as tips and tricks to maximize your fitness in VR. Yeah, that's about it. Let's talk about what's happening here. Likely what's happening is you're grabbing the knee robot and you're following the path. Now, if I know anything about games, fitness, there's a path. Well, you're supposed to follow it, but for some reason there's a path here and you actually aren't supposed to follow it. What you're supposed to do is grab the knee machine, hold it as high as you can. In fact, you might even need to push it up a little bit and then pull that thing down to your knee as hard as you can. That's the way to get the knee targets done the right way. Fun fact about Tatiana, her channel actually means discover. It's a play on words, if you will. <laughs> a lot of stupid people think it means disco VR, like she's really into disco or something. Yeah, those people are real dumb. Anyway, my name is Ari with FitPro VR, and don't forget to get your workout in today. Well, I do like disco, but not as much as I enjoy discovering VR technology. Thanks, Ari, I will try that. Indeed, holding my hands up in the air before slamming it down really worked, even though I found the path here really misleading. This exercise worked for me only if I lifted my hands all the way up right before breaking the target over my knee. I seriously don't know what I would do without this advice because, again, you cannot replay the tutorial. And the coaches are just going like, Good job! Dude! I'm literally 20,000 points behind everyone else. Being able to see the coaches during the exercises with you or at least allowing you to replay the tutorials and watch the correct performance again is a much needed addition to this app. And a few more things to say about Les Mills. As in many similar games, your strength matters when you're hitting the target. If you hit it strongly enough, you will see this large circle around and it will give you more points. This game also features a synchronous multiplayer that plays 
the scores of random players who had also played this exact workout in the past next to yours. Hey, Nazy. And it really makes it very competitive. FitXR has the same system, and I must say, I really enjoy it. Les Mills also features the gamification system that allows you to level up the more you work out. I'm not sure if you get to unlock some things as you level up, like in Power Beats VR, the more you work out in that game, the more custom weapons you unlock, like hammers, shields, gloves, and others. But then again, Les Mills doesn't care about those artificial things. Custom weapons, custom songs, you will not get those. But the songs used in these workouts are pretty dynamic and, quite frankly, real bangers. The game focuses on productivity and technique rather than listening to your favorite songs and playlists while swinging magic swords. It feels like a serious fitness app and not just a rhythm game with fitness elements. For now, it also doesn't have a huge collection of workouts, but there's plenty, which can be sorted by the intensity level or by the duration or even the type of workout. It also tracks your progress, like how many calories you've burned and how many minutes you've worked out each day. So it's great for keeping track of your workout and keep you motivated. I've got to say, Les Mills made me want to go for the maximum performance. When I was playing, I always wanted to see the those rings when I was hitting the targets, so I was hitting them the hardest. I didn't want to be at the bottom of the score list, so I was going for accuracy and power. I enjoyed hearing the coach's encouragement which pumped me up, and at the end, I was exhausted. But I felt like I had an intense workout session and not just playing a rhythm game, and isn't that what Les Mills is really about? So to be fair, an app like Supernatural is excellent. It has lots of real life coaches, tons of songs of different genres and maps, and coaches' comments tailored to those songs. It even has different modes, but uh, what it doesn't have is an affordable and accessible solution. You have to pay $19 a month, and you can only enjoy it in the US. Les Mills, on the other hand, also has two real coaches, really thorough exercises, satisfying maps that push you to work harder, and a good variety of fitness programs of different intensity levels. It it doesn't have a variety of modes like FitXR or tons of songs like Supernatural or customizable weapons and playlists like Power Beats VR, but it looks and feels like a premium fitness app, not just a rhythm-based game with fitness elements as an afterthought. It will be available anywhere in the world for a flat fee of $29.99. I really hope that they will consider adding more tutorials explaining the movements to the newbies in the game and maybe even allow users to see the coaches perform those moves during the game. But other than that, I'm very impressed by Les Mills. I hope that after this title releases, the team will keep working to add more and more workouts, more coaches, more environments even, and more songs to this game. But even at the level that this game is at now, it's probably one of the best VR fitness games that you can get for a flat fee. Let me know in the comments what you think about Les Mills and if you're planning on getting it after it releases. Don't forget forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Disco VR for more fun and informative VR content. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, friends. Stay safe and as always, happy gaming.